the UEFA Youth League. Where stories begin. Rashford fires it in. And talent comes of age. Kimpembe! Where the stage is set for future greatness. Sancho's through tomb, game over. The journey to stardom. It's Sane, oh my word. Starts here. It's the left, and I answer ahead. 64 clubs set out on the road to Neon. 24 made it to the end of the year. The playoff whittled them down to 16, which soon became eight. The quarterfinals saw Giants fall. And four teams took their place in the semis. Welcome to Switzerland. Welcome to the UEFA Youth League. Alejandro Marquez is a player with star quality. His name already written in UEFA Youth League history, we reflect on his story in the competition. Pues esta foto te trae muy buenos recuerdos, ¿no? A la mente. Esta foto es del partido de la final del año pasado que ganamos ante el Chelsea, que tuve la oportunidad ¿no? de, de meter eh, dos goles. Este año ellos buscarán revancha seguramente, pero nosotros lo vamos a jugar de la misma manera, como sabemos, y con la, con la idea clara. ¿no? Bueno, esta foto es cuando cumplí mis 18 años. Eh, nada, aquí era... estaba jugando con un equipo de Venezuela, en España, Muchas veces vinimos justo aquí, a, bueno, a Barcelona, a hacer varios torneos y jugamos contra el Barça. De pequeño, ya de pequeño siempre tuve ¿no? la ilusión de, de jugar en el Barça y bueno, y al final se cumplió. Esta foto fue en partido de, contra el Gerta de Berlín, que también tuve la oportunidad de, de hacer dos goles. Jugamos perfecto. 3-0, pudimos pasar la eliminatoria y, y nada, muy contento. Este partido es una locura. ¿eh? Meto el gol en un penal, ¿no? Que, no, que nos hacen en el 95, que íbamos 2 a 2. Se armó una locura ¿no? en el ministad. Un recuerdo que se te pone ¿no? la piel de gallina, recordarlo. Y bueno, y cuando pita el árbitro, pues tiene esa satisfacción ¿no? de, de decir, bueno, estamos otra vez en la Final Four. Tengo muchas ganas de repetirlo del año pasado y vamos a ir con todo de, para poder volver a hacerlo. Marquez scored the, the goal in the quarterfinal and he got a couple in the final last year, so they're a good team throughout. They've got to be worried about us. We're not going to be, be worried about them. We know if we turn up on a day that we'll get the job done. The outlook of a football club blessed with success. Two-time winners Chelsea found themselves yet again in the UEFA Youth League final phase after an impressive campaign inspired by their influential captain. After scoring the winner in the round of 16 win against Montpellier, Luke McCormick dragged his side back from 2-0 down in the quarterfinals with a brace to force a penalty shootout. A lot of people, and I, I used to be one of these people that think that uh, the penalty shootout is a bit of a lottery, and we do still believe it is, but there's little things and little techniques that, that, can, uh, that can add the little percentages that go your way. And I think it's just, it's just the natural competitiveness and wanting to win that, that shows, and that's why we've been so formidable in, in the youth league. Chelsea's youth league pedigree is proven from the players that have progressed to the senior side. Most recently, Ruben Loftus-Cheek and Callum Hudson-Odoi. Ruben and Callum, to watch them breaking through and doing so well in, in the Europa League and the Premier League and both with the national teams, it shows that it can be done and if you're good enough, you will play. So it's something that we all strive to do. 
Avenging last year's final defeat to Barcelona will be a key stepping stone to senior success and McCormick's sights were firmly set on payback in Neon. Barcelona and Chelsea are two, two massive clubs, two giants in football and brilliant setups. And uh, obviously they've proven they can do it in the youth league, but we're turning up ready to prove a point and, and ready to win. McCormick was one of five Chelsea starters seeking redemption for their part in last year's 3-0 final defeat to Barcelona, as the two most successful sides in UEFA Youth League history took to the field in Neon. Out by Cully and Miranda, and the follow-up is wide. Unbelievable, what a hit. Tight angle, Redan nearly pinched one on the counter. Really well done by De La Fuente. Opening goal. Short range and Simon Fatty does it again. Oh, give it away. Redan for 1 1. Must be it is. With McCormick again. The gift that you felt was coming. And this semi final's all square. Barcelona trying to affect another momentum shift here. As he gets spilt in and the rebound's in! Instant response, just like that. Barcelona have their lead back. Oh, there's no flag here. Charlie Brown, Chelsea level. 2-2 two, two, and five minutes from penalties. Brown! And again, brilliant for Tenas. There will be a shootout. Buried by Brown. Ariana just about responds. Miranda against Ziga, and he has to put it in. And he hasn't put it in, and Chelsea have done it again. Via spot kicks again. And Chelsea will be back on Monday in the final. It's very difficult to accept because in any moment we were in front, but well, no one has other. Año que viene tenemos otra oportunidad. This is a team everyone believes at each other. We know that even though we, we're behind, we know we'll come back again. We knew that we're going to have opportunities, and when we get opportunities, we're going to score. That's what happened. Portugal is a small country. The nossa cidade, comparativamente com grandes cidades europeias, tem muito menos habitantes. Mas acho que todos os jovens nascem com uma paixão nata de, 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 pelo futebol, por jogar futebol. Mário Silva, treinador do Sub-19 do Futebol Clube Porto, na UEFA Youth League. A city with a rich footballing history. 12 months on from penalty shootout heartache, Mario Silva and his FC Porto side were back in neon, looking to put to rest memories of last year's semi-final. Não era eu o treinador, eu vi o jogo e ficou-nos um pouco um sabor, um sabor amargo porque não conseguimos eh, conquistar o título. E este ano é nosso nosso objetivo. Temos feito uma temporada muito positiva. Os jogadores estão a desenvolver um excelente trabalho. Fomos crescendo ao longo da época e acho que nos apresentamos neste momento num bom momento. Nós gostamos muito de atacar. Nós somos uma equipa que gosta de ter bola, que gosta de jogar com bola que gosta muito de fazer golos, mas nunca descuramos os equilíbrios defensivos. Silva's coaching style owes much to the influence of Jose Mourinho, under whom he won both the UEFA Cup and the Champions League. Experience for the young coach to draw from in the semi-final. Nós, Futebol Clube Porto, na altura, muito virada para o ataque, mas sempre muito consistente em termos defensivos. Sem dúvida que foi importante para mim trabalhar com o José Mourinho e foi, como é lógico, uma experiência que me deu a experiência para neste momento ser mais capaz. A FNAM é uma equipa muito forte. Acho que está tudo uh, 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 da melhor forma possível para ser um excelente espetáculo de futebol, porque acho que estão duas equipas, tanto uma de um lado como de outra, que gostam de atacar, que gostam de marcar golos, que gostam de criar e, e, e mostrar espetáculo para quem vem assistir. E nós, da nossa parte, só esperamos que isso aconteça e que, no fim, possamos sair vencedores. 
Hoffenheim's UEFA Youth League story so far may be short, but it's special. Debutants in the UIL this season, they have become the first team since the competition's inaugural campaign to reach the final four at the first time of asking. And they have racked up the highest crowd in UIL history along the way. But for their young coach, the story isn't over yet. Marcel Rapp, Hoffenheim, U19 Trainer, UEFA Youth League. Also wenn ich ehrlich bin, hatten wir überhaupt keine Erwartungen an, äh, an, an die Runde, an, an, die, an die Youth League. Wir haben uns einfach sehr gefreut, dass wir dabei sein dürfen. Wir waren sehr stolz und wollten uns einfach, das ist auch so ein bisschen eine Devise von unserem Club, wir wollen uns mit den Besten messen. Und wir hatten jetzt die Chance dazu in der Saison, uns mit den Besten zu messen. Die Jungs haben einen tollen Job gemacht und äh, das Ergebnis ist jetzt, dass wir im Final Four sind. Wir haben gegen Man City gespielt, wir haben gegen Olympique Lyon gespielt, mit sehr, sehr guten Einzelspielern und unsere Jungs konnten da mithalten und sind immer besser geworden. Aber natürlich, wenn man gegen Real Madrid spielt, zu Hause vor ausverkauftem Haus. Ich glaube, das ist auch was Besonderes im Jugendfußball, dass wir vor 6.500 Zuschauer gespielt haben. Und wir gewinnen gegen Real Madrid 4 zu 2, dann ist das schon relativ weit oben anzusiedeln. Wir haben die jetzt im Video studiert. Das ist eine sehr reife Mannschaft. Spielt mit wenig Fehlern, nutzen aber auch die Fehler der Gegner eiskalt aus, was für eine hervorragende Qualität spricht. Ich glaube, wir hatten schon viele Herausforderungen in der Saison und wir werden auch versuchen, oder wir werden das auch meistern und werden alles raushauen und werden mal gucken, was dann nach dem Spiel passiert. It was a crowd in expectant mood that greeted Porto and Hoffenheim for their semi-final. The two sides had scored seven between them in the previous round and both were attempting to reach the final of the UEFA Youth League for the very first time. A real sense of occasion at a sellout arena in the foothills of the Alps. It is an Ariel Battle. Oh yes! Curling at the had enough swirl to beat the Hoffenheim keeper Daniel Klein. On their way to a first ever appearance in the final, potentially. Through to Onana here, takes a touch, still going straight at the keeper. Excellent football from Hoffenheim. And he's beaten his second man now, and Torres could be away. Needs to try and pick out a teammate. Can he? Ballo, who else? Strikes the top of the bar. Oh, yes, that was close. Porter will believe there should be more. Just the one in front. Hoffenheim lose out. Daniel Silva might be in here. Brilliantly done. They have got a second. And they're just over a dozen minutes away from making the final. It's three on three. Oh, the ball is excellent here. There might be another. There should be in here. Brilliantly turned in. Terrific football. The referee has seen enough, it's Porter who will celebrate making it through to the final for the first time. They have been dominant against Hoffenheim. I think we're going to give you a chance to win this fight. We entered in the history of the club, which was what we were looking for. But the great players like us and the technical team we were looking for always. And we want to enter in the history of the first team in Porto to win the competition. We are happy. This club for me is all about it. E é um orgulho enorme para mim vestir a camisola do Porto num momento como esse. Romar Baró, número 10, Futebol Clube Porto. One of the standout talents of the 2018-19 UEFA Youth League. Romario Barro is making a name for himself as the latest in an honor roll of famous FC Porto number 10s. São uma inspiração para mim porque são grandes nomes de futebol, grandes jogadores e tento sempre vê-los e aprender com eles como o Ramos. Bons exemplos ali no plantel principal e gostava, óbvio que gostava de ser muitos deles, mas é, tenho que seguir o meu, o meu trajeto. Gosto de assistir os meus colegas, mas tiver a oportunidade também de fazer gols. Barrow's goal-scoring exploit supplied FC Porto to their first ever UIL final, with the creative number 10 netting a perfect free kick against Hoffenheim. I'm very happy with it. Because the team I play is one of the most new players, and I don't have the opportunity to beat. The fact that the game was divided, and after 1-0, we managed to do 1-0. That's what gave us more energy. 
sentimos que tínhamos o jogo na mão e fomos para cima. The semi-final victory set up another encounter with Chelsea for Barrow, having lost them on penalties last year in Neon. But for the 19-year-old, getting past Chelsea this year was a challenge to relish. It's very good to play this competition. It's different to play this competition. It's very important. We play against other players who are very good. It's amazing to play against the best. Romario Barrow is a great, fantastic player. He is their main threat. We need to stop him from getting the ball. It's going to be a tough game. Can't wait for it. Two clubs raring to go in the UEFA Youth League showpiece. Chelsea had their 17-year-old goalkeeper Carlo Giga to thank for their place in the final after penalty shootout heroics in the last two rounds, the first of which was against his hometown club, Dinamo Zagreb. I knew a lot about them because they won twice on penalties to get through, so I had lots of material to study. It was quite an amazing feeling, especially the first one. I knew he was going to smash it, so I had to go big and stretch. You want to be in goal in these kind of situations because obviously you want to be a hero. It's said that the line between hero and villain is a thin one for a goalkeeper, and Giga experienced both sides in the semi-final against Barcelona, conceding Chelsea's second goal straight after equalising. It was my mistake. You had to stay focused and brush it away. It's not a nice feeling when you make a mistake and you're 2-1 down, 20 minutes left. We knew the game wasn't finished after that goal, so we had to just push even more ourselves. And at the end, we scored a great goal for 2-2. And I think we had that momentum into the penalty. I had that feeling like he's going to go to that side because it's a left footer. I just chose to dive to my left and I saved it, so it was amazing. As attention turned to the final, Giga's aim was to achieve what his side couldn't manage at this stage last year, to win the UEFA Youth League. The biggest game of my career so far. It will be an amazing achievement for me and for this team as well to win this competition. And so, the final of the 2019 UEFA Youth League featured two sides with contrasting histories in the competition. Porto were breaking new ground with their first appearance at this stage. For Chelsea, meanwhile, it was a fourth final in five years and a chance to claim an unprecedented third title. Who will it be? Chelsea for a third time, FC Porto for the very first time. Lamptey done so well to get around on the outside and there's the first big chance of the final, Conor Gallagher. Lamptey has got the beating of the fullback and he's through again here, Tarek Lamptey and again! This time Luke McCormick, two golden chances. Fullback allowed to run and threads it through for Fabio Silva! who remarkably can't finish. Torres. Chance for him to run forward. And Pedro Vieira arrives to give Porto the lead. Chelsea torn apart. It's a risky header back by Undi and McCormick trying to seize on it. It's McCormick. And it's blocked by Diogo Costa. Porto just in front. But it's still very much in the balance in Neon. Swung in by Castillo! Porto need to find a response here. In from Vieira, they might get an instant response. Terrific save by Carlos Ziga. Fabio Silva. Undi has done well. Drilled across by Joao Mario.
Here's Romario Barrow. Suddenly Porto with a chance on the counter. Alfonso Sousa. Romario Barrow returns it! Alfonso Sousa surely wins this UEFA Youth League for Porto. It's Porto's year. Mario Silva inspires them and leads them to the UEFA Youth League. Eu vivi eh, momentos muito bonitos como jogador, tinha títulos importantes a nível europeu e nacional, mas acho que este título tem um sabor especial. É mais saboroso como treinador, sentir que estás a passar uma mensagem, eh, que os teus atletas estão a acreditar na tua mensagem e tentam fazer tudo para o conseguir, fantástico. Este jogo e esta vitória demonstrou que o, o que nós somos, o que nós viemos aqui fazer e demonstrou toda a qualidade e toda a dedicação que, que eu e todos os meus colegas uh, metemos, metemos nesta competição desde o primeiro jogo na fase de grupos. É um sentimento de, de dever cumprido, de, de perceber que tudo o que nós trabalhamos durante, durante a época deu frutos e, e conseguimos esta vitória. Era a minha última oportunidade e consegui felizmente ganhar esta competição. Tem qualidade. Não há dúvidas que são jogadores de enorme potencial, mas acho que o acreditar, o, o perceber que, que era uma oportunidade única e que podíamos ficar na história do nosso país, acho que foi algo que, que foi motivacional para nós.